Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amber and today's video, as you can see, is a makeup video. Now, this is not a tutorial. This is just me playing with makeup, having fun, filming the process, editing it, and then doing voiceover. I hope you enjoy because it's a huge passion of mine and I want to make it a series on my channel in the future, but I'm not going to upload it like all the time because I don't have enough time to create looks. If you like that idea, like and subscribe. I don't know. Let's get started. The first product I'm using is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. It is a pore refining primer. You can tell by my nails and my sweater that I filmed this back in December of 2020. What a time to be alive. Kind of missed that time though. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. The next primer I'm using is the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. It is a sticky primer. At the time I used to layer my primers, I don't do it anymore. Whatever. After kind of covering my brows, I put on foundation. The foundation I'm using is the L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear Foundation. For me, this is such a perfect foundation. Um, I don't know, it lasts pretty long, it has decent coverage, and it's affordable. If you have like normal to like, I guess, oily skin, you should like this. But also depends on like your age, your location, whatever. You should try it, it's pretty good. And then for concealer, I used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid uh, Creamy Concealer. What a mouthful. Why does all makeup products have like a long ass name? It's just weird. I don't know. Whatever. I'm covering my brows even more and then covering my uh, dark circles. I barely had any dark circles. I don't know what I was covering, but it's fine. It's okay. It's whatever. And then I'm setting it with the Fenty Beauty Powder. Actually, looking at this, it's so interesting because, like, I've used up the foundation, the concealer, and also the powder. Um, I guess, hashtag Project Pan 2021. <laughs> Ooh, that was so awkward, but whatever. Um, I forgot to put um, any, like, foundation or concealer on my lid, so I'm doing it right now. Um, it was just concealer, and then I'm going to put on my eye primer, which is the one from Kaleidos. It's... A decent primer it does make my makeup last longer they just should come out with more shades just a friendly reminder I guess but also I don't know I'm then setting my brows with the powder I just want to have it really really set in place because I don't want to like blend my eyeshadow and then having the concealer wear off it's just gonna not look pretty good and then I'm setting my whole face with the Fenty powder as well for my contour, or I guess bronzer, I'm using the Kaleidos Charisma Contour Palette in the shade Warm and Medium. I'm mixing the two contour shades and I'm just doing it the way I would if I'm wearing a natural everyday makeup look. I thought I was able to like have some time to catch my breath and like chit chat with you guys, but unfortunately I just don't. I hope this doesn't sound really rushed and I really try my best here because I want to like have a podcast like feel. Now, getting into the colors. I'm first taking the pink shade from this Narimi palette. Um, the pink is so good. It's so pigmented. It's very, I don't know, blendable, very easy to use. And also Narimi, she is a Chinese influencer, a beauty influencer. She came out with her own brand. She has like two eyeshadow palettes so far. It's pretty good. It's pretty great. I like the quality of the first palette. The second palette didn't speak to me as much, so I just didn't get it, but I'm so proud of her. Good job, you go girl. I don't know. The next shade I'm taking is this blue shade, and I'm placing it at the center of my eyebrows. I'm kind of creating, I don't know, a freehand look, so I wasn't really caring too much of where I'm placing the colors, but all I knew was I want to cover my brows with colors because I want to see if the brow covering technique actually worked that time and it did work so that's great and I also kind of blended the two shades together to make it like less harsh yep and then I took this green shimmer shade it is a really pretty shade but I think I made a wrong decision so I actually like switched with another eyeshadow but you can tell this eyeshadow is of really high quality it is also still very shimmery even if I used um, a blending brush and so I took a matte green. This is from the brand Judy Doll, which is also a local brand. And uh, just to cover my F-ups, which is fine because we all F up sometimes. Then I'm kind of just blending it all in together. 
Next, I'm taking this green, uh, no, it's not green, it's gray. This gray shade next to the green shimmer. And um, I'm just kind of placing it at the outer corner to deepen out my corners, but also just create this weird little color block, if you will. This gray is also a very high quality. You can tell, like, you can blend it out, but you can also, like, deepen it, like, deepen your eyes with it. So that's great. That's what I'm asking for in a medium dark tone eyeshadow. You should all be like this. This is great eyeshadow, you can tell. And then back to the blue, I placed it on basically my dark circles because I guess I want to cover my dark circles, but also I just want to like think out of the box, which is always nice when it comes to a look like this. And I'm just blending it kind of everywhere, but still kind of focused on my um, dark circles under eye area. Then I took the nude pink in the palette. It is more vibrant like on the skin than in the pan, especially like on camera. It come off a little bit more, I guess, um, corally, pinky than nude, but it definitely is like def definitely more pink than nude. The shade is very cute as a blush as well and it's also pretty blendable. I think it's my favorite shade in the palette because you can use it in a natural like everyday um, look. You can also use it in a look like this to create a little blushy moment. Then I'm switching to the Kaleidos Escape Pot palette, creating this little dot on my cheek. I just think it's cute and I think, um, I don't know, I need some orange in the look and the like pinky corally blush doesn't do it so I'm gonna switch to an actual orange and then I use this um, purple in the same palette creating a dot on my forehead brow area I feel like these four dots kind of opened up my eyes creating like a huge kind of presence on my face if that makes any sense I don't know I think it does and um, I just did that and I think it looks pretty good I also put on some more blush on my nose because who doesn't love a blushy nose right it's just always cute. Then getting back to the Narimi palette, I took this purple shimmer shade and placed it on the purple dot. Uh, I just want some shimmer on my face because I was like, this look is too matte to be fun, but also matte look can be super fun. Whatever. And then I took this pink shimmer, placed it on my uh, inner corner. You can see this pink shade actually blends in super nicely with the um, neon pink we placed um, at the beginning and uh it's just nice it's really nice but i thought it like didn't pack the punch so i switched to like a lighter shade of pink shimmer and placed it over that pink shimmer and now it just looks more bright i then used the concealer to conceal my actual lip color and set it with powder just so i want to create a blank canvas that is easier to work with then i took the pink shade again put it on my lips, uh, my cupid's bow. Yeah, cupid's bow is such a weird like word to pronounce, whatever. And then I took the sh uh, matte green shade and I placed it on the corners of my mouth. You might be like, what the hell is going on? That looks nasty. Now I wanna just say, I wanna have fun. I just wanna like chill out, do some makeup. And also some green also would tie the green on my eyes um, in. So that's great. Then I used a red liquid lipstick to create some, I guess, shapes on my lips. This is kind of inspired by like makeup from the Tang Dynasty of China. I don't know, I think it's really cute, even on like a modern creative look. We're busting out our handy dandy little face paint palette with a skinny brush and I'm creating some lines coming out of my mouth. Um, I kind of envisioned them to be smoke, but also, I don't know, this is all pretty abstract. I just want it to be a cute little look, and I just want to practice my techniques with this look. And it does really turn out cute, so I'm gonna, like, edit the footage and post it on the internet. Whatever. Uh, I feel like with these lines, it creates a very interesting contrast between, like, this crispness of the lines and... The blurriness of the colors if that makes any sense i think it just makes everything look um i don't know it has a purpose now or it doesn't i really don't know uh, i just like 
doing like freehand looks like this freehand drawing around my mouth you can see me kind of editing them like wiping them off and uh, drawing another line over it because it's like face paint it's oil it's you know removable and then for a highlighter I'm taking the Kaleidos prophecy highlighter Ooh, very pretty I just put it on my nose and the bridge of my nose and it just creates a very beautiful like orangey peachy glow but it's definitely more of a glitter shimmer than a glow I thought the lines are still like lacking so I created some lines from my eyes and it looks pretty good I think it definitely as I said like breaks the blurriness of the colors and creates the crispness and I love the combination of those I just feel like it's kind of necessary for this look because if you're like just gonna go in and come out with a look that is all blurred out then I don't know it might be a little boring for the colors I chose that could be cute though my hands are all like effed up because um, I used way too many products and this is a finished look I think it's very cute and I did try like new techniques with this this is um, as I've mentioned very old I do have other footage I have two more looks Mm, they're gonna be super fun and interesting as well and I really don't have much to say I hope you enjoyed this process I hope my voiceover isn't super awkward if you like this video please like um, subscribe comment ring the notification bell do all those things and I love you guys so much thank you for watching bye